Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 pre-orders to get this weekend that come out later. Um, it's a very kind of small week, but there are a couple good books that I, I need to mention to you. This will be a short video. Please stay tuned and let's go. Okay guys, as I was saying, it's kind of a iffy week but there are some good books if you're interested in this type of video please subscribe comment like i appreciate it you can always pre-order from me at economicsandcomics.com you can use code econ and save an additional percentage off let's get right to it i'm really excited because it's a small week so if you were thinking about you know you have some money burning a hole in your wallet uh and you want to spend it please pick up a copy of eight billion genies eight Mike McComb exclusive variant it's almost gone and or speechless four featuring artist uh, Ivan Tao tells you everything about his process and I would appreciate it either way if not this is what we got going on this weekend let's start with some cover buys and a good read Joe fix it number three the gist variant I really like it Red Goblin number one second printing Tiger Division number five Ron Lim trading card variant Draculina Blood Simple number two, the Diaz cover, is so sick. Art Brute number four, cover B. Black Cloak number three, cover B. And Gunslinger Spawn number 18 is sick. Okay, that's it for the covers. Uh, I'll show you some other covers in the top 10. Before we do the top 10, there are two number ones you might want to look at. A book called No One, number one. Ten months ago, the Richard Rowe murders shocked the city of Pittsburgh. In the months since, the killings have sparked a dangerous political movement, copycat killers, and a mass vigilante who's still determined to hold the powerful accountable. Not a symbol, not a hero. They could be anyone. They're no one. And Pop Scars, number one, basically for the coverage. Here's cover A. Um, and here's the five copy. Pop Scars is a gritty Hollywood revenge story about a vigilante badass and a pink ski mask and the famous Hollywood movie producer she's out to kill, who also happens to be her dad. She doesn't know that, though. Okay, top 10. At number 10, we have Star Wars High Republic Adventures number 3. I'm writing it down here because I cannot find the cover, they d and it could get pushed for possible key appearances. Number 9, Women of Marvel number 1. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is Corinne Howe's first Marvel cover. I'm not sure. She's really cool, and I support really cool artists. That cover's dope. I'm going to pick one up. Number eight is Storm and the Brotherhood of Mutants, number two. Battle of the X-Planets. 100 years from now, the Empire of the Red Diamond battles the Cosmic Coalition to decide the fate of a universe. One is the twisted creation of Nathaniel Essex. So is the other one, but between the two, there are rebels. Oral lives and and her brotherhood fights on in an epic space battle that means life or death for everything that exists. Could be something interesting. Number seven, Doctor Strange is back. Number one, I enjoyed the last read. I don't know if it's the same writer, but I'm going to be picking it up. Here's a regular cover. Here's the Alex Ross Timeless Dormammu cover. Everyone's going to be getting those. Number six, Spider-Man The Lost Hunt. Number five, it's a Ryan Brown cover. The final battle. Peter needs to join forces with the one who taught Craven to take Gregor down. But at what cost? You won't see the ending coming. We'll see what happens. Number five is Star Wars The High Republic. Number seven, The Siege of Enlightenment. Vildar, Tay, and Maddie are forced into a corner with enemies closing in all around them. But what is the secret of the hidden Jedi vault? And who will die in the freezing Jedi desert? We'll see. All right, here we go. Number three is She-Hulk number 11. I like the Yagawa variant. It's a new arc. Great jumping on point. A new villain starts a thieving spree through New York City and ends up face-to-face -face with green face Jennifer Walters, the sensational She-Hulk. Also, have you noticed this is Legacy number 174? You'd almost think something very special is coming. Possible appearance. Okay, top three, guys. And I think these are must-pickups. Punisher number 10. I've been enjoying the read a lot. At last, the Fist of the Beast has fully risen and the full power of the new Punisher is unleashed upon the world. It's a bad day to be a bad guy. Meanwhile, Frank's wife Maria uncovers more dark secrets from his past, including more missing pieces of Punisher's origin. His origin story has been really interesting of his youth and stuff, and this is going to fill in some more of those gaps. I think it's a must pick up. 
Number two is Carnage number 11. Both covers are sick. Here's the regular cover. And here's the Mastrazzo variant. Cletus Cassidy is back. Years ago, Peter Parker spurned the Venom symbiote and it created a monster. Last summer, Cletus Cassidy spurned the Carnage symbiote similarity, willing, willingly rejecting it in favor of forcing his consciousness into the deadly Extrembiot armor. You've seen what happened to Carnage symbiote in the months that follows. Now watch on in horror and discover what happens to Cletus. Could be really good. And number one is Amazing Spider-Man number 22, most likely this cover for sure uh who is the mysterious figure and what do they have to do with peter and mary jane's disappearances possible first appearance of this new character i'm not sure yet but that cover for sure is sick so those are my top 10 i told you again this is a really short video head over to economicsandcomics.com if you want to pre-order from me please subscribe also at the end of this video you can watch the full video where i go over every book coming out this weekend and Ivan Tao joined us as a special guest last night and you can watch a little bit of that video if you want as well it's reasonably short for those live videos thanks again for watching and we'll see you later